So tonight is the opening reception for the new Lawrence Creates Art Gallery. And we have the inaugural exhibition called Friends of Jim. And it will be up till January 11th at Lawrence Creates Makerspace, 512 East 9th Street. Jim was a Lawrence sculptor. He did representational bronze work. He's famous for a lot of the war memorials that are in Washington, D.C. and a lot of the local uh, sculptures that grace Lawrence, like uh, from the ashes at the depot in North Lawrence. And um, a lot of his early work is here tonight as part of this show, stuff from when he was a student um, and when he did wire work before he did the bronze later on. It, he started working, I think, in the like 1970s, would have been like that early wire work. And so he started the bronzes, I think, in the 90s. So like the last 20 years is uh, his more famous stuff. And a lot of this is the earlier, never before seen stuff that he just had in his studio. It really is a celebration of, of a community of artists and a community that he certainly contributed to a community that he helped uh, kind of coalesce. He introduced me to some of the people that are in this show. Uh, I think that what is wonderful that it's here, uh, Lawrence Creates, and that Lawrence Creates is in many ways the very same thing, except that rather than a personality, it is this entity that, uh, that promotes the community and promotes the creative process. So it's uh, an, sort of like an extension of the kind of giving and the kind of uh, natural attitudes that Jim had about art and about the creative process. I, I've known Jim since uh, 1966. And uh, he was my teacher in high school when I was a senior in high school. And so Jim and I have stayed in touch over many years and uh, in 1969 we both went to Europe together and uh, we went from one end of Europe to the other going to museums and galleries and just general craziness and uh, became really great friends after that and so Jim has always kind of done sculpture and I've done painting and uh, we've just kind of kept in touch together and shared ideas and beers and all that stuff. Jim did a lot of historical figures like the Mountain Man, Native Americans, uh, trappers, that kind of stuff. Jim was always fascinated with the, the American West and the settling of America, and I think there's kind of a historical significance to his sculpture. I think it's, uh, it's really important to have a body of work where people can see a, a, like a whole series of works from Jim's older pieces to some of his newer pieces. And I really encourage that a lot of younger people come to see this work because they may not have known Jim or known about Jim, but I think uh, to see such a great artist is a good inspiration. So this show will end in January, and at the end of January we'll start a new show, and it'll be um, on the African-American artists of Lawrence. 